All right, today we're gonna to be installing PyHole using the official PyHole Docker image. In case you're not familiar with PyHole, it's a network-wide advertisement blocker. It'll block in-app advertisements from places like your mobile phone, your smart TVs, and of course your computers. So the first thing we're gonna do is open our retainer instance. And we are gonna click on containers and then add container. We will name this container Pi Hole. And we will use the image Pi Hole slash Pi Hole latest. We're going to publish five network ports. First is going to be 53. It's going to be a TCP port. We're also going to expose 53 as a UDP port as well. We're going to expose UDP port 67. Again, make sure you check UDP on these two. We're going to expose port 80. and port 443. And we are gonna create two volumes. Um, in my case, they're gonna be bind mounts. In the container, the first volume is going to be slash et slee slash pie hole. And in my case, on the host, it's going to be slash home slash striker slash documents The second volume we're going to want to map is for DNS mask. That's located at slash etc slash dns mask dot d. It's actually K9 striker. All right, we don't have to change network settings, but there are a couple environment variables. First is gonna be our time zone. Mine is America slash New York. The second variable is web password. This is going to be the password for the PyHole web interface. For the purposes of this video, we will make the password password. We need to set our restart policy to unless stopped to make sure the PyHole is always running. After we select our restart policy, we're ready to deploy the container. So we can click deploy container. We will click our logs. All right, once PyHole is finished, we will go to our, we will go to the web interface. You should get this. Did you mean to go to the admin panel? Yes, I did. We'll click that. And there's our PyHole dashboard. Let's see if our password worked.
Perfect. Now you can point all of the clients on your home network to your Pi-hole installation, which would be your Docker IP address, to start ad blocking. All right, and that's it. If I helped you today, click the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this one, click the subscribe button. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment in the section below.